you, the class of 2020, are graduating at a historic moment. The world is in the grip of the biggest pandemic in over a century, and the numbers of people, many old and vulnerable people, who will lose their lives to this coronavirus is still unknown, but may surpass many of the wars, natural disasters and epidemics of previous generations. And, and when this pandemic passes, for it will pass, there will be many stories that will be told. And you, the medicine class of 2020, will have your place in these stories. And se central to those narratives will be the COVID of, of the COVID-19 pandemic will be the response of health and social care workers around the world. And as the weeks pass, it's perhaps easier to predict the narratives that will dominate when the tale of these months of 2020 is recorded. And even thinking just about the response from health and social care workers, undoubtedly future generations will hear, he, hear tell of the trauma and heartache of people dying alone away from loved ones. They will hear about the mobilisation of health systems around the world and the NHS in every part of this country to prepare for seriously ill patients and to protect health workers from the disease. They will hear about those who lost their lives while caring for those who were sick. They will hear about the fight by scientists in the UK and around the world for a vaccine. They will hear how social distancing, a term we hadn't heard of a few months ago, became our new normal and part of an epidemiological response. They will hear how the public learned the language of epidemiologists about our values, about flattening curves and so on. They will hear how we all learned a lot about PPE. They will hear how as we became less connected physically, we became more connected electronically and virtually. And they'll hear how in the UK, we went outside our houses at 8pm on Thursdays to applaud key workers. And all of these and other stories will be told, I'm sure. But I'd like to suggest that the dominant story will be of kindness, the kindness of strangers, the kindness expressed by individuals, perhaps almost hidden behind PPE, the kindness of those facilitating a last video call, the kindness of doctors and nurses looking after sick, frightened patients like they would want members of their family looked after. The, the phrase the kindness of strangers has been used in literature, music, film, TV, and as the title of several autobiographies. So it's clearly a phrase that has resonance, but, but why is it relevant today? I've been a doctor since the late 80s and a GP since the mid 90s, and I've met many people in distress, um, many people at the most difficult times of their lives. And the privilege of medicine is the access we get to people at such times. And sometimes these have been people who I knew well, who'd been my patients for years. But more often than not, they were people I met for that episode of illness, for that crisis in their life or in the life of someone they loved. And to them, up until that moment, I was a stranger. And, and what did they need from me? Many of them needed my medical knowledge and skills. Many of them needed my ability to communicate with them and their families. Um, but all of them also needed kindness, um, the kindness of a stranger. Uh, and let me suggest to you, as you start your careers as doctors in these very unusual times, that what separates the doctors who are worth remembering from competent doctors is their ability to show kindness to strangers. Choose to be one of those doctors worth remembering. You as doctors will be shaped by this pandemic. I was shaped by my first jobs as a doctor and so will you be. And you will make changes as to the kind of doctor you want to be. You will tell your students about being part of the class of 2020 and the impact it had on you. And as you leave medical school, you're facing a huge challenge. Grasp that challenge. Live up to the ideals of the NHS that you learned here. I think you're all well set up to do this because it's in the spirit of the ethos of the Hulgar Medical School. Our graduates are different. You're excellent communicators, critical thinkers, excellent problem solvers. You're different because you have all seen firsthand what a difference good quality healthcare can make in a deprived and often neglected part of the country. I mean, I sincerely hope that having studied medicine in an area with significant social deprivation, that many of you will choose career paths taking you to similar areas where you can especially make a difference to people's lives. So those of you who are choosing to stay in this region after graduation, thank you. You are very much needed. 
And to those of you who are leaving, it would be wonderful to stay in touch with you and to continue to support you in any way we can. And as others have done, you may come back someday. This region needs talented, smart, empathetic and committed doctors and academics to face and find solutions to the challenges that lie ahead. And so as you leave medical school equipped to deal with this pandemic, take the time to be kind. Be kind to your patients. You will be there at the most anxious moments of their lives. They will remember whether you were kind as much as whether they remember whether you got the diagnosis right. But of course, we, we're sure you will get the diagnosis right as well. Be kind to each other. You'll be under a lot of pressure. Be the colleague that others remember as kind, willing to offer a hand when you see others struggling. And, and be kind to yourself. None of us get it right all of the time. Take time off, spend time with your family and friends, take time to think and to enjoy this world once you can. And in conclusion, we should, we should judge a society not on its, econo on, on its economic growth or wealth, but in two other things. Firstly, the way in which we care for the most vulnerable and needy in our society. And secondly, the extent to which people contribute to each other without the expectation of a monetary return. People's altruism or kindness, the extent to which they help each other, is part of the social glue that holds societies together. It's a sign of how civilised we are. And if good emerges from this pandemic, it will be our society evaluating what really matters. It's not wealth or possessions, it's humanity that binds us together, perhaps exemplified by the kindness of strangers. Be that sort of doctor. I wish you well in your careers and especially over the next few months. Stay well, stay safe and be kind. And I look forward to seeing you in York as soon as that can be arranged.